Hello, what is going on, guys? Hockey Guy One here. Welcome to another movie ranking. This time, I'm gonna be ranking the DreamWorks animation, the DreamWorks animated films. There are 32 ones. I'm not including Joseph the King of Dreams because that one is direct, is direct to DVD. And so, yeah, I'm not gonna include that. And this was suggested by Peter Parker, and then. And then, yeah, yeah, let's get into it. At number 32, Flushed Away. You guys don't know how much this movie ticked me off. Because it ticked me off to no end. Like, this film is literally made for children. That, that's what I was like, children. Because you can clearly tell. Because it's a toilet movie, and that stuff, stuff is what kids laugh at. And yeah, char character, character Ro Roddy is like a, is an annoying main character. Same with his love interest. The only thing I actually kind of like about this movie is the villain Toad, and Toad because that's I that's one that's good that's one of the best villains. What a great villain that Junior said. And the, and I and the animation's actually good it's actually pretty good, but that does not I still can't say anything good about, I still can't say much good about this because this film ticked me off with with it so it gets a one percent. And then at number thirty one is Shrek Forever After you guys know this as well t is is another DreamWorks film that ticked me off because this just ticked me off to no end because because this is Shrek and and we don't want want them going back in time just like uh, like seriously it, it's a like a world where Shrek doesn't exist is stupid and and all the characters are annoying. And it and it's su and it's and it's such a rip rip off. I forgot the mo what the movie was called that it's a rip off of, but it's a rip off of a movie. And then yeah, and and it's and it's absolutely terrible. Nope. And then yeah, the film is just awful. This used to be my third pick, but then then I realized how much I hated this when I watched it again. So yeah, the characters are anno are annoying as heck. Rumpelstiltskin is one of the only good parts about it. So it's a three percent. Then at number thirty is How to Train Your Dragon. I know I'm gonna get a lot of boo. I'm getting a lot of hate for this, but I didn't like How to Train Your Dragon. Yep, I said it. I think this is the most overrated animated film I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's not even good. I respect your opinion if you like it, but I didn't like this. It got it scored a ninety eight percent on Rotten Tomatoes, which I call BS on that, because to be honest. This was not even a good movie. It it's a, it's they literally forced you to fall in lo love with the characters, which is just stupid. You're not supposed to go that route. And you know, yeah, this, this film just ticked me off main, mainly because because this is not likable at all. The characters. People people just like it because of Hiccup and Toothless, and yeah, this is not a good movie. To, in my in my opinion, it's not a good movie. And then, yeah, this film is just awful. I give it a five percent. And then at number twenty nine, this this is probably another shocker to you: Monsters vs. Aliens. This film picked me off. This is this does not feel like DreamWorks. 
The internet pretty much is, is one of the best companies now. This is an awful film for, for them. Just embarrassing. Like, the characters are annoying. Yeah, the animation's pretty good. It's good, but... But these characters are so annoying. Like, Bob is so unfunny and annoying. And then... And, and then that guy is so boring, or so annoying. Same with that, that guy, just an annoying scientist. The only, I, get, I gotta give a credit, though, because they at least tried, but they still failed to make a good movie, in my opinion. So, yeah. This, is a se this gets a 7%, and I hated this film. There's another film I hated at number 28. Sinbad Legends of the Seven Seas. Oh my god, was this was this awful. This was a piece of crap. Well, I mean, not as not not as, as a piece of garbage as as the films above it. The, these films over over here are some of the worst animated films in my opinion. But this one it still doesn't help that it's a bad movie. And yeah. Two thumbs down more like, but I can't believe they I can't believe that that it it's just stupid. I fell I fell as I fell asleep while watching this. It's just oh my god. I don't even remember much of this. Like a lot of the same stuff happened. It's just stupid. It gets, it gets a 10%. And number 27 is Ants. That's right. Ants. I hated this film. It's, 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 seriously. He, I don't know why people like this. Well, a Bug's Life is a million times better than this. And people complain about Bugs Life's animation. What about this animation? These look nothing like ants. To be honest. These just look like walking people. Yes, it's 1998, just like ants, but but still, I could have at least made them look a lot more like ants. But still, this film, I can't stand it. Woody Allen is annoying as hell, as heck. And then, and then they, and then it's annoying DreamWorks since there was a pop, there's a pop song in it because DreamWorks uses pop songs in every movie. They had, they chose like the worst pop song in the world to do it. Is it? They they had like a pop song. Oh, I'm not really gonna sing it because because that'd be just an embarrassment to me to sing it. And then, yeah, there's barely anything good about this. This is another overrated film. And then, yeah, this gets a 12%. And number 26 is B-Movie. My God, was this terrible. This was just awful. Jerry Seinfeld tried, but he did he did awful. Renee Zellweger, people talk about her being bad in Shark Tale. What about in this movie? She didn't even, she did an even worse job. Because this film is awful. Why would they have bees talking? Seriously. Bees talking, at least have them, like, not be understood. Like the Madagascar movies. Seriously, this movie ticked me off to no to no end. Not as much as the films below it. I mean, I can get a credit for good animation, just like most of these movies. But still, I can't give give credit because of the story and and the characters are just stupid. Like, all the annoying bee puns in this movie are so annoying. This is why you can't make a bee movie about bees. You'll just, 
Those will be like, yeah, how about this? This let's have this person's name be Barry B, B Barry B. B. I forgot the last name. And then, and Barry B. Benson. So so we can have a B pun in here. So yeah, there go. Yeah, it's just fifteen percent is what I give it. And at number 25, oh, sorry, that's a five down, is Spirit Stallion of the Cimarron. This film is terrible. There go all, all you people that, that like it, since there's a lot of people that actually like it, surprisingly. I hate this film. This film takes me off like this is just a violent film not as violent as ants I forgot to mention that about ants that ants that's what they makes ants stupid how violent it is and with the swear words as in it it's a and it's a PG rated movie this is a G rated movie and it's kind of violent with 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 all with a horse horse getting getting captured and then, and then it's kind of this is stupid. Why, why, why doesn't he talk? I can't stand that about this movie. Do you just, the only times you'll hear him talk is when he talks to himself. It's just stupid. Uh, yeah, it this gets a twenty percent. Get out of here. And then at number 24, How to Train Your Dragon 2. And you can clearly tell I wasn't a huge... I, I clearly wasn't wasn't a huge fan of the How to Train Your Dragon movies. Considering how low they are. Since normal people... Mainly people have it in, the top, in their top 10. Not for me. I didn't know... This film... It's better... I'll admit this. It's better than... It's better than How to Train Your Dragon 1. It's still not that good of a movie to me. I mean, there are some parts I enjoyed, but this movie wasn't good to me. I mean, yes, it's better than yeah. Yes, I can at least I at least have stuff to enjoy, unlike um, unlike How to Train Your Dragon One, and Tra and Trek Forever After and Flush It Away. Yeah, like this is a dark film. Considering, considering this is yeah, this was made for kids. It was really dark for it, but that's not why it's low. But it's low because all the films in front of it are better to me. So yeah, this film it wasn't that good. It wasn't even very good. So yeah, it gets it gets a a forty nine percent. And then at number twenty three is Turbo. People are probably just like, wait a minute, how, if you hate cars, how is the, how 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 is this on, only an okay movie to you? Probably people are thinking that. Oh yes, I hate the cars movies, but this but Turbo. But but Turbo might be yeah, a little bit of a rip off of it. I don't care, because at least, at least this isn't a a snail a, a talking snail world. At least this has good animation on, like, the Cars movies. So, yeah. Uh, at least, although this is a little rip-up of Cars, I still like it better than Cars. Screw you, Cars. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, this film, it's an okay film. It's not that it's not that good though. It's just an okay film, so I give it a fifty-five percent. <laughs> well, that was very little complaining. At number twenty-two was the Prince of Egypt. Yes, this is actually where I get into the film I like. And then yeah, I like this film. Don't get me wrong. I just find it weaker, weaker than the twenty-one films above it. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, stretching. And then, 
Yeah, it's like a, it's a like of Moses, but like, it's a little too, I, I think it's a little too dark, or, but that's not why it's low, it's low, because I like the other ones better than it, and, yeah, there's, DreamWorks is known for having good, good fil films, in my opinion, unlike most people, just like, oh, oh, DreamWorks is bad, there's a lot of people who are like, DreamWorks is bad, DreamWorks is bad, man. Main, mainly because they're comparing it to Disney and Pixar. And then you got Brin Prince of Egypt. Like it's, a, it's an okay film. Uh, it's not okay. It's a good film, but... Yeah, we could have gotten... Um, it just doesn't really make sense. It sense for Moses' story. And... Yeah. And the characters are pretty... Most characters are good. The story is good for most of it, and it's just this is beautiful hand drawn animation. So yeah, that's hits a uh, sixty five percent. And then at number twenty one is Chicken Run. This is this is a good film. Film I find it a tiny bit overrated. No, yeah. There we go. Like, some people call it in their top ten. I don't know how you put this in the top ten, to be honest. I mean, to be honest, people are just doing it because... I think some people just do it because, because it's Ardman. And Ardman is a pretty good company. And then, and yeah... This isn't. This is obviously not the worst Dreamers collaboration with, with with Ardman. You guys already saw it. It's flushed a freaking way. I hate. I I hate it flushed away, but this one is good. And then yeah, this is it's a, it's good. So I'll give it like like a, the concept is trying to fly. That's what I have a little bit of problem with. And then I'm going to give it a 69%. Don't worry, it's not supposed to. I'm not doing that to be inappropriate. I'm just joking around. And at number 20, I have Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Wire Rabbit. This is a, this is a good film. Yeah, this is a great film. But it's not it's it's not the best. It's Of course, it's probably the be best. Of, it's the best of the Ardman collaborations. But that's, it's not the best DreamWorks film. It's still great, don't get me wrong. But, I just don't really like, I don't really like it as much as the other ones above it. Sorry, stretching, just stretching. And then, yeah, a great Great film. And so, yeah, well, and Grammar. This is a, this is actually a hilarious film that I enjoy. Oh yeah, this is a seventy one percent. Then at number nineteen is Mega Mind, and this is a good film. I find it a tiny bit overrated. I find it overrated, but not like too overrated. But like I find it overrated because. Because, because, like, I just don't find it as good as people are saying. Because it's a ripoff of Despicable Me, so... I mean, it's kind of, it's a little, it looks a little bit of a ripoff of Despicable Me. Not too big of a ripoff, but a little bit. So, yeah, that's why I don't really like it as much as most people do, but... Because, like, I hate when things, when, 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 a, when a company rips off and... Rips off a different company's movies, so yeah. Great film. The Mega Mind's great. Great. Retro Man's great, even though we only chose up a little bit. And we have a pretty great villain. And yeah, this film gets 75%. And then number 18 is Madagascar Escape to Africa. People are prob probably wondering why this is my least favorite of the Madagascar series. I'm about to explain that for you. I just found it the weakest of the Madagascar.